So first we're going to talk about what happens when you add impedances in series and how they sum together. Of course, you know, we could also have a discussion about how shunt components add uh, in parallel, you know, when you do the transformations to uh, the corresponding admittances, but uh, we're going to skip that for now and uh, we're going to focus on um, adding impedances in series just because, uh, you know, there's there's nothing else learned uh, by looking at uh, how admittances add up. Like, I think learning about how the impedances add and how they cause in transformations on the Smith chart is um, illustrative enough for, for what we're trying to do here. Okay, so let's say we have the point corresponding to 50 plus J50 ohms. So like I said, the first thing you do is normalize the impedance with respect to the characteristic impedance of the system. Uh, you get the normalized form of the impedance here. And I'm using lowercase letter letters to uh, represent the, uh, the normalized impedances throughout all these examples. So in this case, we look for the intersection of the constant resistance circle uh, corresponding to 1.0, which would be this, and the constant reactance circle corresponding to 1.0, which would be this guy here. Okay, so the, the intersection of those two curves corresponds to this point here on the Smith chart. Okay, so if we were to try to add a capacitor in series with our uh, ZL, the first thing you do is find the normalized form of this impedance, and we can see it here as 1.5. So since this is a capacitor, we know that it's going to, and, and since it's in series, we know that it's going to cause a rotation along the constant resistance circle uh, in the downward direction. So the amount of rotation is going to be determined by this number here, and we can read the scales the scale on the outside of the Smith chart to determine the final location. So if we start at 1.0 and we subtract off 1.5, then that's going to leave us at negative 0.5. So the zero point is right here. Like I said, in the bottom half of the Smith chart, all of the uh, impedances are negative because this corresponds to the capacitive region. So we look for the negative 0.5, and we know that we are going to rotate downward until we connect with this constant reactance line. You can see that here when you sum the impedances, you can see that the impedance do indeed get summed like this, and then when you plug in the values for XL and X1, you can see that uh, the result is uh, negative 0.5. So that means that our impedance at point A is going to be uh, 1 minus J 0 0.5. Okay, and like I said at the start of the lecture, uh, we can use this rotation in order to calculate our uh, capacitance. So here I'm using delta X, and what I mean by delta X essentially is, um, you know, we start off with a uh, reactance corresponding to ZL, and then we end up at a uh, reactance corresponding to ZA. So of course, uh, in our example here, this corresponds to x1, the impedance of the uh, capacitor that we added in, in series. 